Wilson Morales from Black Men TV talking to Aldis Hodge regarding his latest film, Marmalade. How's it going? It's going good, man. It's a good day. Obviously, you seem to be always working. I just saw the trailer for your upcoming film down the road. But what mm -hmm. went into saying yes to taking on this project? Uh, Kier told me about it uh, about, I'd say, a year or two before we even got into production. And I just enjoyed the the fun of the script, the fun of the character, the duality of everything. And I thought that it was uh, intellectual, uh, intellectually written. So it was a good time. You know, you know, this is a, like a sort of like a black comedy. Do you see yourself having funny bones? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do, you know, I just don't get to exercise it a lot. I used to do stand up at the L.A. Improv for a number of years. So anytime I get to, a chance to go flex and, and uh, flex the comedic muscle and have a couple laughs, man, I, I'm jumping at it because uh, it's something, you know, that people are not necessarily aware of. How is it you're telling me you're doing stand up and no one sees you as a comedian? At least I, you know, I was like, I ain't never seen you in a comedy show. None of that stuff. Oh. Everything you've done has been all dramatic. Yeah, no, I used to do stand up from like 11 years old all the way up to 17, 17, 18. Um, hosted a room at the improv from like 13 to 17. So, uh, man, it's just um, one of those things where, you know, the nature of, of my career slipped into drama and that's where the bones were being made. But uh, anytime I get to stretch out, I'm, I'm absolutely looking for opportunities just so people understand there's an extra layer. There's an extra couple layers that they don't know about. Now you're working opposite Joe Kerry. Most of your scenes are with him. How was yeah. that dynamic like? Because when you you know when you're working on a film and it's just mm -hmm. you and him for for the most part, most of your scenes, you gotta have some sort of chemistry going on. Yeah, Joe's cool, man. Uh, I dig Joe. He's a cool cat. Um, I like his approach to it all, and uh, we just had a good time out there. We were shooting in I was in Minneapolis on the days where we didn't have to shut down because Joe was drawing crowds of hundreds of people. Uh, Cause he has massive fans. <laughs> so um, do you. So do you. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, you know what they they were they, not not it wasn't like that strangest things kind of hit. <laughs> Joe brought him out, man. It was awesome to see, but he handled himself well. And uh, yeah, he's he, he got a lot of respect for him. He's a cool cat. I always say, you know, there's a lot of product out there in terms of you know what's coming on streaming, what's coming in theaters, what's on cable and network. What's going to yeah. get people to come out to see Marmalade? Getting back to good old hijinks and a good fun time. A film like this, I haven't seen in a while, where it's smart, it's sarcastic, um, it's a good old caper with a couple of good twists in there, and it's just fun. And that's something that I haven't felt in a while, where I want to just watch a film for fun, and that's what, exactly what this is. You know, you've been around, working for a long time. What goes into saying yes to the projects you take? To see if I would even enjoy watching it, to see if I like how it's written. Uh, I have to put myself in positions where I learn, and uh, I want to take risks that I haven't taken before so I can sort of push my potential. So in, anytime I take a role, I have to check a couple of those boxes. And, you know, this film absolutely did that. And when you're working with Kier, obviously you've worked with other directors and so forth. And I always say actors can never stop learning. Is there anything you picked up from his direction that helps you in whatever way moving forward? I think collaborative freedom. I mean, Kier gave us the space to fill out the roles and, him, you know, coming from an acting background as well, which I was a fan of his as an actor prior to, to this, um, there's a different sort of communication that happens in terms of how they direct, where they can understand a different uh, a different way to, to sort of explain things, pull out the performance. You know, you kind of connect in a different way uh, working with, it's like an actor's director. So there was an ease to it and a flow that was just sort of uh, seamless. Mm -hmm. And the role that you're playing, obviously you're, so, you're playing somebody who's already in prison. Did you do any research in terms of, you know, guys <laughs> that you know that you can play off of? Unfortunately, I've done uh, more than, I've already had more than enough research. In <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in prison myself, but, uh, yeah, you know, I got some family who took some interesting routes. But this was sort of a, a, a sarcastic, uh, not necessarily a parody, but a character character characterization of you know who this person was in prison because at the end of the day he's a detective who's trying too hard and he's getting a couple of things wrong so he's kind of like he takes himself very seriously but he's kind of you know uh, there are some areas where he's pushing the performance a little bit you know what I mean but that's the fun of it all so you know he's not uh he's not exactly all the way dialed in and, and uh he's dialed in as a as an FBI agent but as far as this guy in prison you know there's still some things that he's having fun with. 
Hey, Aldis, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Obviously, it's your, you working gives me work, so keep it going. We're always <laughs> here to support. So let's talk down the road. Take care. Absolutely. Appreciate you, man. Good seeing you again. This is Wilson Morales from Black Film TV talking to director Kier O'Donnell regarding his film, Marmalade. How are you? Great, Wilson. How you doing? Good. The first thing I said is, why didn't you act in your own film? <laughs> <laughs> That's a great question. I'm still asking myself that question to this day. Um, you know, I, honestly, it's it was my first time in the director's chair, so I, I, I really wanted to focus, uh, you know, put all my focus on that. Um, you know, originally I started writing this script uh, wanting to create the most colorful characters I could. Um, so part of that was sort of like dipping into the well of, you know, characters I had either played before or wanted to play. Um, but, you know, the more and more that I kind of discovered the world and 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 created the script, I, I realized that I really had to be at the helm of it to um, to make sure it all kept consistent. So part of that is like just remaining behind the camera and not trying to put on two hats at once. Is this labeled as a black comedy? And if not, or if so, why so? Yeah, I mean, I, I I guess so. Like, I'm I'm certainly drawn to black comedies for sure. I think that there's, you know, especially in, in my acting work, I've always tried to find comedy in any sort of dramas. You know, there's there's comedy no matter where you look for it. So um, that was that was part of the goal was to try to find something that's a bit offbeat and um, you know, kind of whimsical in its nature. So I suppose if that falls into the uh, the black comedy uh, category, then I'll certainly take it. When you say offbeat, obviously, it's a matter of making sure some of the the jokes kind of land, you know, where we, the audience, see it and know what it's supposed to be like. How much of a challenge is that when you're putting this together and you say, OK, is this a moment where it's supposed to be off kilter? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, the whole world that we created, I think, is quite off kilter, as you said. So it's, uh, you know, you never want to try to go for the joke. So it's trying to find the reality of a scene. And then can we like pick and choose? Can we kind of mine it for for any sort of, um, you know, situational comedy, I guess, you know, whether that's within the relationships or just within the world or whether the audience is laughing at a character or with them, you know, that was always the the sort of like, uh, fun moments to decide. You know, you got a cast of of actors who are rising already there. You know, and, and but they're all familiar faces. What went into bringing in Joe, Aldis, and Camilla? Man, you know, I mean, uh, like I said, I just when when I wrote this script, I really wanted to write some challenging roles for actors. You know, I've always loved this sort of um, you know this sort of idea of a play within a play. So you have a duality of a lot of different characters. So you. You know, it requires uh, finding actors who can who can you know give you different shades and are able to sort of you know show one light of things and then completely you know switch it at a certain point. So that was our challenge. Uh, the lists were quite small as we went out there, but um, Joe was always on my radar. I, I, you know, like you said, in his young career, it's sort of he has such a sincerity to his performances and um, kind of a sweetness and a warmth that we really required for the role of Baron. So uh, luckily he responded to it. Um, you know, the same with Aldous. I, like I was always a huge fan of his work. He read the script, really responded to it, but what he brought to it, you know, really, really heightened the character. I mean, um, you know, he has such a great sense of character and um, comedy, certainly, and kind of like the stakes, like he was always like very well aware of kind of what was at stake and was able to give me like many different layers. Um, and then with Camilla, you know, she is just kind of just coming onto the scene now. Um, and, you know, she auditioned for the role and it was immediate to me that that, 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 you know, she just nailed it. She has this kind of electric, magnetic dangerousness that we were looking for. And, um, you know, it certainly remained that way on set. Like she was able to kind of like give different takes all the time and, and sort of keep Joe on his feet. And, uh, you know, it, it's amazing to see these guys sort of blossoming out.